Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a beginner's guide video because all the other videos available online uh, from a new player perspective are kind of outdated and while there is some written guides out there, uh, nobody likes to read I guess, so I <laughs> thought I'd do a short little video here kind of walking through uh, the beginning of the game a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it, I'm going to start a new game. I'm going to, for the most part, just uh, choose the defaults here. Uh, you may want to consider your first games uh, to be in this casual mode, and that just allows you to respawn, and it also allows uh, uh, the creatures not to be as uh, hostile. Uh, so it's just uh, a lot easier if, if you're just starting out. Uh, but uh, I have a little bit of experience with the game, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose hard, hardcore mode here. Uh, I'd also recommend uh, sticking with the manual turns. You can do real-time turns uh, and time kind of progresses or turns kind of tick by uh, without your movement, uh, which makes it a little bit more difficult uh, and sometimes a lot more difficult. So I'm just gonna stick with the uh, manual turns. I'm gonna just uh, leave it untitled save and s stick with a random seed. You can play around with that if you want to. Start a new character here. By default, you can uh, randomize this a little bit if you want. Go ahead and uh, choose whatever you want. So in this video, I'm going to kind of walk you through uh, the starter quest. And uh, that's what's shown up right here on the left hand side. Uh, if you have already tried to start a game, uh, this may be closed and you may or you may have exited at some point, uh, but you can also you can always open it at any time uh, just with this uh, little icon here or uh, by pressing uh, U. And that will just uh, open it up here for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the first quest here. And the first quest is gear up, so it's asking me to equip something. So I'm going to open my inventory with I. Again, you can kind of do most of these things up at the top here as well. And also open my equipment with uh, E. Uh, so as you can see here, I have a tattered shirt and pants equipped. Uh, I have also a bunch of stuff in my inventory, which kind of gets uh, generated uh, randomly every time you kind of start with a little bit uh, different. Uh, set of uh, items in your backpack. If you go over here on top left by default, you'll see all your starting stats as well as a couple other a uh, uh, couple other things. I won't I probably won't go into too much, but you know there's the the standard health. You have your stamina, hunger. There's that kind of stuff. Uh, there's also weight and just some other information uh, that I won't go into right now. In depth. So it's asking me to equip something, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, find this pickaxe over here. Equip that to my left hand. Uh, you can also uh, just hover over an item and press E, which uh, equips and unequips something automatically. It's uh, wanting me to put something into my quick slot, so. I'll actually probably quick slot this axe, and that way I can uh, just use it. Uh, because I put put it in uh, the number one slot, I can go ahead and press one to use it at any time. So now it wants me to resource gather. So uh, you can kind of move with a uh, WASD by default, uh, or uh, click to walk around. You can also uh, path by holding down Control moving like that, which is uh, kind of beneficial for certain situations if you want to walk around trees and stuff like that, it kind of automatic path finds you where you want to go. You can also zoom out with a uh, mouse wheel by default. So back to our quest here, uh, we're going to collect some rocks. So I'm going to go up to some rocks here and press one. Got a bunch of rocks. 
No, it wants branches. So I don't have anything that's really good for chopping down trees. Uh, I'm going to attempt to use my pickaxe. Uh, it's probably not going to be the best tool. Uh, we'll probably work on something for that a little bit down the road. I'm just going to go to a bear tree because uh, I might be able to get some branches better that way. There we go. So we've got two branches and two logs. Don't have to do anything with those quite yet. So now it's talking about crafting. So I can open up my crafting menu with C. And we can see that we have a bunch of new items here. Everything above this line is things that you can craft uh, in, your, in your backpack. It, as you hover over, you'll be able to see uh, up in the men in the inventory showing which items are used in the craft So it wants me to create sharp rocks. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So as you can see here, it's using those two uh, large rocks And I failed There we go. So if you fail at any time just keep going basically it's it, it's just due to uh, basically a lack of skills and if at any point you want to take a look at your skills, you can press uh, V or uh, click this right here and you can kind of see your skills. So as you level them up, obviously you'll get better and better, uh, faster and faster at everything. It's kind of the natural progression in, in the game. Uh, and if you hover over any of these, you can kind of see what they do. And skills generally have quite a, quite a few things that they affect. So now it wants me to dismantle something. So dismantling is a little bit different than crafting. Uh, it's basically crafting in reverse, so like you're basically decrafting something. You're breaking something down, essentially. So if we go over to this other tab, dismantle, you can see all the things that we can uh, dismantle. So we can dismantle a branch, for example. Uh, it wants me to dismantle pretty much anything. So I'll go ahead and dismantle this branch. As you can see here, as I hover over it, it's showing me um, what it's going to give me. So strip bark, wooden pole, leaves, and twigs. And go do that. Now it wants me to change my hands. So this is mostly useful for combat. Um, for example, if I was to find a creature to fight, uh, it's going to basically use my I use both hands to fight. And right now I have a pickaxe in one and uh, nothing in the other. So it's going to alternate between those two things. So uh, I would start off with attacking with the pickaxe and then use my fist. So generally, uh, since uh, we have this pickaxe, we probably won't want to keep that left hand only selected so we only attack with the pickaxe. All right, so now it's uh, talking about hunting. So we're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can find a creature. I should also mention at any point in time, if you uh, want to move things around, resize things, you can go ahead and do that. As you can see here, I can probably make this a little bit bigger so there's no like uh, not as much scrolling uh, I can also do things like opening M or pressing M to go into the messages and you know tweak tweak my messages if I want to or move stuff around I can make my inventory bigger my crafting uh, window bigger if I wanted to do that kind of play with play with this for a second get everything where I want it mm. actually I'll leave that there yeah that's fine <laughs> so let's go find a creature oh see a goat um, goats are probably not things you want to mess around with uh, early on. Uh, I could... Oh! Well, I guess uh, that solved that problem. So we found a spider. Um, now, 
Uh, if you recall, I have that left hand selected, so it's going to use that stone pickaxe if I just uh, basically walk into the creature. He got his first hit on me, so he dealt three damage. That's not too much of an issue. So I'm going to go ahead and just automatically attack by walking into it. And so if you look down here, you can see that uh, it's using my pickaxe, and uh, luckily, the spiders are vulnerable to blunt damage, which the stone pickaxe is. Nice. So now it wants me to carve it up. So I'm going to actually put the sharp rock into my quick slots and press to carve up creature. So as I walk around here too, uh, I'm not quite, I'm not like always mentioning like all the different things. There's like, there's mushrooms around here and there's, I think, I think I saw uh, some other plants down there and I think I just saw some corn. Yeah. I won't go too much into that right now, but kind of just walk through uh, the quests to start with. So now it wants me to do some more crafting, I believe. So it wants me to make a handrail. And uh, it's also talking about uh, kindling and tinder there. Many things are considered kindling and tinder. Uh, for example, if I hover over these leaves here, uh, it's going to show me that these are tinder under its grouping. If I hover over these twigs, it's going to say it's these are kindling. If I ever need to like filter, uh, I can do that too. If I'm looking for something in specific. Kindling and then tinder. Uh, you can also filter things by name. Uh, that the filtering also works with crafting. So if you're looking for something in specific, like say I wanted to make a stone axe, as long as I type it correctly, showing that, it also shows me what I need to craft it and what I'm missing. So I'm missing a pole and string, for example. So back to this quest, it wants me to uh, get some more rocks. Do that. It wants me to craft a stone campfire. So if I you know, for example, didn't didn't know where that was. I could just go campfire that way. Let's go. There we go. That took a while. So it wants me to build it. And for that, I'm just kind of right clicking on on the item to build. Uh, most things have unique a unique set of actions associated with them. And when we put something into our quick slot, it's basically just using the default action associated with that. If you want to change uh, the, act, the, the default action, you can right click on the item inside the, the quick slot. And you can kind of see that there's these check marks and X's and you can kind of set uh, the default action associated with that item. So uh, for example, I just picked up that uh, campfire back and I could, for example, throw as the default to that campfire like that. Not that you would ever do that, but that is an option. So now it wants me to create a fire. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that up here, press three. And as you can see there, it used some uh, kindling and tinder for that. And it also wants me to stoke the fire. So I'll stoke the fire with this log. You can see that the fire grows in uh, strength. So now it wants me to cook the meat. So here it's using a branch and the meat. Craft it. Uh, also, as you notice here, I'm, I'm actually taking damage because I'm exhausted. So uh, I'm... <laughs> Going to actually rest. It's it's because I threw that stone campfire before. That's a pretty heavy thing to throw. <laughs> Typically, you probably wouldn't be at this slow dexterity if you were just to do this normally. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this uh, leaf bed roll into four. And just take a short little rest, just a little bit, and you can cancel out of rest at any time. Uh, there there is a sleep mechanic as well that you could uh choose for the bit leaf bedroll uh but for now i'm just gonna rest we don't need to sleep 
So let's try that again. I failed before. Come on. Oof, that was close. I almost uh, broke my uh, branch here. All right, so we got some uh, cooked meat, and you know, um, my hunger's not too bad, but I may as well and just go ahead and eat it. Doesn't, it's not gonna fill me up too much anyways. It's just a little bit of spider meat. Yum yum. All right, so now uh, probably the most important thing that you're gonna have to deal with in Wayward starting out is water situation. So uh, in Wayward, uh, there's ocean water. Uh, which you cannot drink by itself so you need to go ahead and desalinate it so now that's what this is kind of uh, walking me through here so it wants me to create a water still so I'm gonna go ahead and actually before I do that I'm gonna make an axe I'm gonna kind of deviate a little bit here so I'm making some string what else did that axe need needed a pole so I can actually dismantle the log. You can actually dismantle it by uh, right clicking or going into this menu. Uh, either either way works. So that gave me a bunch of poles and I'm gonna go ahead and create this axe now. The reason why I'm creating this axe is because it's better for uh, chopping down trees and uh, even though I don't need it right now I probably probably uh, could use it coming up here so it wants me to collect some rocks so I opened up uh, something in my crafting window here everything that new uh, that comes up it kind of uh, shows or highlights in that yellow kind of outline uh, so it wants me to craft the water still I'm still missing a couple things. So the string. Oh, I I, I made the string and then used it on the stone, mm -hmm. <laughs> stone pickaxe. So go ahead, go ahead and try to make another string. Chop some stuff down. So I'm gonna dismantle these logs and branches. You can kind of see like what what each of these are giving you, but basically I'm stripping all this stuff down because they're gonna give me. Uh, these strip arcs, which I can go ahead and uh, craft into string. So now we got a string, and now we have the stone water still showing showing up here. I'm gonna go ahead and place this down, probably next to my campfire. Sure. So now it wants us to fill the still. I'm going to make sure not to cross pass, or hopefully with that goat, because he actually packs quite a kick, quite a punch. All right, so I actually started with uh, two containers, which is which is kind of lucky. Um, uh, if uh, you only start with one container, you can go ahead and just drink this. I'm getting kind of thirsty anyway, so I'm going to drink uh, this uh, purified fresh water that I started with. And now I'm going to grab some other water here. So it wants me to pour that in. And then it wants me to attach the bottle to the still. So it wants me to light a fire just like I did with the campfire. I'm going to go ahead and start a fire here. Uh, as you can see there, it broke. Uh, some of my leaves I wasn't able to start the fire and now it wants tinder that I don't have so uh, can probably get around that easily just by uh, dismantling a branch here so that gives me some leaves try again there we go I'll stoke that fire probably stoke it with a lot of these uh, probably a, a good way to do this is to put uh, the logs or the sorry the poles into your quick slot and then set uh, stoke fire as a default now I can just press five whole bunch pop all those in there so now the fire is raging so this should basically last for, for quite a bit here 
now wants me to basically wait till this is done desalinating. So it takes takes a bit. Uh, if we were using real time turns, it would kind of just tick as we go. But the only time that this is actually uh, progressing is if we move around and perform actions. So while that's uh, doing its thing, we can probably uh, explore a little bit our surroundings. Saw the slime actually a little bit earlier. I'm not going to mess with him. They're kind of uh, neutral, so they won't attack you if you don't attack it. Uh, we also passed this uh, cave entrance earlier. Didn't go down here. It's probably a bit too spooky for our, <laughs> for our skill level, but that is an option to explore uh, once we're prepared. Ooh, and we found an apple tree with apples. So you might actually find an apple tree that's not quite ready and it won't have the apples, but this one you can kind of tell that it that it's ready to go because it has that graphic. Uh, it, if we hover over here, we can also see that it's in the ripening stage of growth. And ripening is basically the last stage uh, of growth. So we can go ahead and harvest those apples. I'm just uh, pressing two gather them and I think I think that's actually good I think there's only those two I don't want to actually damage the if you if you keep going you will eventually like start to damage the tree so we don't want to do that uh, another option actually is to uh, right click it or um, use Q and you can actually harvest with your hands and that's always like the safest kind of option. Also, you can just default your uh, axe, for example, to harvest by default. So when I press that too, it's only ever going to harvest. So as you can see that it actually had one uh, apple left on there and it kind of changes its appearance a little bit to signify that. Don't need to eat those yet, but might as well eat one. So another thing that you might find is these little patches of shallow uh, fresh water. This is different than this water, which is seawater. So because I have that container, I might as well just uh, grab that. And as you can see here, this is unpurified water. Uh, and unpurified fresh water is a little bit easier to manage. You can actually just go ahead and um, go to your fire source, like the campfire that I had at, at the camp there. I'll kind of just make what make my way back there. Oh, and my fire's out, but I actually can use uh, the fire that's uh, in the water still to uh, to purify that water. So here we can see that that popped up with a new uh, crafting recipe. So I'm just gonna do that. Hopefully, make it. There we go. So now we have purified fresh water. Uh, so let's see. Oh, it's actually this this stuff is done too. So um, there's a couple options that we can do here. We can detach the container, which grabs uh, the water from it. We can drink directly from it as well. Uh, and for, just for the sake of uh, showing you, I'm going to detach the container. So now we can see that we have uh, this glass bottle of desalinated water available. So now we have two two different types of uh, water here so now let's talk about creature taming so we have actually a perfect uh, creature for that uh, we find uh, that goat oh there's a goat so goats are actually fairly easy to tame um, I'm just going to actually grab some leaves from this tree which the goat likes I'm going to right click these leaves and then offer it to him. So now we can see that the goat is now my friend and he's happy. So very, very easy to tame, although they will kind of, uh, uh, kind of rapidly deteriorate and, uh, not be, be your friend anymore. <laughs> so all you have to do to fix that is either maybe pet him or uh, give them some more uh, leaves here. So different creatures like different things offered to them. Obviously, if I were to 
offer those leaves to the spider that just uh, showed up out of nowhere. Uh, you probably wouldn't like that. But now I have actually a friend to help me out in this situation, so I'm going to get attacked and yeah, you can see that goat protect me there. Nice. So now it's me to create a wooden chest. I'll go ahead and go back to my base and perhaps do that. So Mr. Goat follows me here. In fact, I should rename Mr. Goat to Mr. Goat. There we go. Oh, we can see that he's now agitated. And I think I'm out of, yeah, I'm out of leaves for you, buddy. Grab some more. Uh, also, uh, what I'm doing there, I'm pressing spacebar just to skip a turn. Which makes it a lot easier to uh, get the goat to, to where you want. To where you want him, like right in front of you, to offer him something. Uh, so we're gonna grab some branches or logs, sorry. Dismantle some branches, logs, dismantle a pole to get some wooden dowels. Let's see, what else do we need here? Oh, we need one more log. There we go. Now we got a chest. Now I can store all these uh, items because I'm actually, uh, well, actually I'm not actually, <laughs> I'm not actually uh, that heavy yet. But you will uh, kind of uh, get heavy as you as you progress. So here we can see that it opens up a new little uh, menu, and you can kind of just shift click uh, stuff in there, or you can move all. Lots of different uh, ways to manage this stuff. And actually drag and drop that's another option as well so move all my wooden kind of related stuff in there all right so that's that's basically it that's that's the starter quest in a nutshell obviously this is very very beginner stuff there's a lot more to this game kind of just showing you the very very basics let me know if you want to see anything else in the future, if I kind of missed anything or if there's anything else you want to know about. Maybe I'll do like a follow-up video or something like that. Maybe like a beginner's guide part two kind of situation. But yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.